Alrighty. Other than that, though, I think we are ready to get started with the discussion. We will be talking about Game Freak. We will be talking about Toilet Paper Company and their extravagant fucking DLC. I already watched this, but I'm going to do just like a sit down with a commentary and discussion on this because why not? It makes sense for me to do it that way. Even though I've already watched it, I didn't say I was gonna not going to cover it when it was live, but I never said I wasn't going to discuss it. Um, so yeah, let, I mean, let's just check this shit out real quick. Let's watch it. And no, I'm not covering the music video because that shit, I, no. It's pretty good though, I'm not going to lie. The music video is pretty good. But let's, let's just get this over with. Ready? One, two, three. Hello everyone, I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today. You know what I realized? Uh, Ishihara looks like he never fucking gets old. <laughs> like, never. He he looks like he gets younger and younger, but stress seems to take hold of his job. Hey, I just noticed that. It's fucking hilarious. I'd like to present some new information on the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. In other words, shit. We, never mind. First, Watch let's it. hear more about the Pokemon Sword expansion pass and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. Please have a look at this trailer. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know why they do this whole recap thing. You're gonna don't expect this to be just a silent reaction. I uh, but uh, I'm gonna be pausing quite a lot on this. But uh, I know why they do this, and it's just to recap the same shit over and over and over again, and that's fine. But it's just like okay, but like when are we going to like actually talk about more than just what we already know? Anyway. Sorry about the eardrums. Can't control his aura crying. Well, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. Right. Went forward. God damn it. Hold on. I saw Galarian Slark soaking. Um. Let me see real quick. Where is she? I mean, I can't. Anyway. Yeah, so there's Galarian Slowking. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the design. I like the witchcrafty aesthetic that it has. It looks really nice. I think it looks a lot better than, uh, <laughs> fucking Galarian Slowbro. Um. Uh, I mean, again. I think I think it looks nice. I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. But uh, you know, I think what it is is just that the slow the shoulder and the eyes. You know, the eyes make it look really cool. Would I frick it? Probably. Make it fat enough, I'll frick it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway. That thing still doesn't look right to me, by the way. Calyrex, like the fucking what an ugly ass Pokemon! <laughs> Sweating. Like, listen, there's a lot of ugly ass Pokemon, and sometimes I, I I grow to love them. But Calyrex is gonna be one of those mons that's gonna just be like, it, it's like McDonald's bootleg ass fuck. It's like it's, it's like as if McDonald's made a fucking Pokemon and like shoved it at Game Freak with a billion dollars and is like, here, put this in. <laughs> it's how I feel about Melton too, but. And then we have the legendaries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just all the legendaries. They're back. This is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like this idea. It, it's something that I, I actually kind of enjoy. Is it really something that I would like to do on a daily basis? Probably fucking not. But, uh... 
It really is an interesting thing. I wonder if it's just a battle mode or if it's just like a story. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because how they make it seem like in text is like, oh, it's a story, but it's not. Anyway. Hooray, we have all the legendaries back. Woo. Woo. Hooray. Yeah. Fuck me. I gotta catch them all over again. And again. And again. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention. Hold on. I, I, I thought about- No one's ever fucking talked about this because I know it's just clothing, right? Oh, August. It's clothing. Who fucking cares? But, uh, I just want to point this out. Hold on. Give me a sec. Really. Ain't it funny how, like, <laughs> ain't it funny how, like, uh, Plasma and Flare, right, get represented in Galar because, uh, not, like, it's just funny to me. It's like, Team Plasma is based in Unova. Where is Unova based in? United States? Primarily the East Coast? Um, who is, uh, Galar, where is, Gal where is, uh, Galar based in? The UK? They're allies. Uh, where's Team Flare based in? France? Uh, <laughs> who are they allies with? The UK and the United States? Ain't that funny? <laughs> I, I just, I thought that was interesting. But then again, I guess it kind of ties into the whole, like, you know, 3,000 year war thing where it's based on World War II, right? Where they're all, <laughs> where they're all fucking like, oh look, here's the United States, here's the UK, and here's France. I, I know I'm thinking too deep into it, but it's just funny, you know? It's funny to point stupid shit like that out. Okay, so that's shit we already seen. We, we haven't learned anything from it. Obviously. So what did you think? I have learned fucking Steve nothing, Ichihara. The new adventures awaiting you in the Galar region's crown tundra. Hold on. What's up, Sea Snail? Sea Snail says I want them to add an exclusive smoke mon added to Sword Shield. I want them to add a gun mon, like just to fuck everyone over. Like, here, you want Pokemon gun? Well, fuck you. Here's a gun Pokemon and no Pokemon gun. Uh. Pokemon Gun! In the Crown Tundra, the second area unlocked by your expansion pass, you'll explore a snow swept expanse with new faces and new adventures. I like how they paint older Pokemon as like new faces, but the thing is, is like, reoccurring players like myself know for a fucking fact that these are not. But it, maybe it's just because it's trying to target new players. Like, okay, chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. How many fucking one of you have at least played one Pokemon game? And if you've played one, I consider you not a recurring, a new Pokemon player. I consider you a recurring Pokemon player or returning Pokemon player. I don't think you're new. Like, and keep in mind, like, Pokemon is a number one, is the number one in franchise above Disney, so... No one's fucking new, I'm sorry. Unless, you, unless you're, like, Grandma, who's never fucking played a video game, which... Shouldn't say that, because there actually are grandmas now that play video games. But, uh... Nah, I, I, have, a, I have an issue with that. The whole... Treating the game like it's new. will meet Peony, who will put you in charge as his expedition chief. Your you know, honestly, Peony kind of looks kind of hot, I won't lie. Investigations will take you across snow-covered hills. I thought about this, too. Like, if you, like, the whole, like, why is, like, the Dynamax, like, uh, Rose Corporation, like, things there like why what is the connection you know like what's the connection for uh them to be there hills and into a pokemon den where you'll reach depths beyond those that max raid battles have taken you to previously but that's not all that awaits you in the crown tundra lots of legendary pokemon call the area home too i still don't know how i feel about uh how i feel about uh 
the Galarian legendaries. I think it's still a neat concept, but it's like, what what do they play other than just, here, here's some extra add-on shit to, to the fucking DLC to up the price. To make it seem worth it in its value. It looks like your adventures in this wintry land will give you an opportunity to obtain every legendary Pokemon that's appeared in the main series of Pokemon games so far. And if you haven't done it prior, in Yusum or Oraz, guess what? You get to do it again! Hooray! Here's a third time! Congratulations, everyone! You now can catch the same fucking legendaries again, and again, and again, every time. Don't worry! It's not like we were gonna add all the Pokemon in. Don't worry about it. Uh, my last experience with Shield was a month ago because I went from playing childhood to becoming a shiny drug meal. Yeah, yeah, I understand why you said that because nowadays I only fucking play Sword and Shield to do the shiny max raids. That's it. <laughs> I don't fucking play it. Okay, you know what? Not true. I still play the other profiles, like the new ones on my other profile, multiple other, like, accounts, but still, like, I understand. Because, like, I will only play my old accounts, like, my main one, for, like, fucking shiny raids. Because, you know, that's the only reason to do it. Oh, and the grind, grind some of the mods. Like, I have no other reason to play Sword and Shield. There's nothing else added to it. Other than just the Isle of Armor and now this. Which, if anything, based on my experience with uh, Isle of Armor, it's going to be just as fucking watered down, if not empty, as Isle of Armor. Which I'm not saying it's not it's not good. It's it can be pretty it's a pretty time it's a good time waster. Let's be real here. But there's nothing of substance to it. It's just like Sword and Shield of itself. Nothing of substance added to it, and nothing of nothing of value was gained from it. So many of those legendary Pokemon seem to dwell deep inside. Also, the raid events are fucking shit anyway, unless they're shiny ones. The same layer you can explore during Dynamax adventures. Team up with three okay, so this is interesting, right? And uh, like I said, I don't have a problem with. I, here's my problem with Dynamax, right? And I, I didn't mention this prior. My problem with Dynamax is it's so fucking boring and time consuming. I don't want to sit there and waste my fucking time frustratingly, aggravatingly sit through six barriers, okay? Even with Dynamaxing being three turns, and then on top of that, 90% of the time, the moves for them, even G-Max, is fucking shit. And then my fucking NPCs are fucking shit. And I know it encourages, it encourages you to play with other people, but I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. That, this fucking UI that they have for these games is absolute dog shit. It makes the Festival Plaza look like a fucking saint. I cannot fucking, for the love of me, connect to anyone. Okay, it is fucking dog shit. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I hate it. I hate it so much. And Dynamaxing in its own right, the fucking difficulty can be upped from 0 to 100 in one turn. It is so fucking stupid. And the worst part of it is the NPCs are so shit that it doesn't even matter when it comes to fighting against. Like the other time, the other day, I almost threw my fucking Switch Lite uh, because I couldn't, I, I had this fucking shiny Clefable. And fucking kept stalling me over and over and over again and it you know my thing is if you're gonna do shit like that don't have recovery moves do not have evasion okay it's really defeats the purpose of the game and it makes me not want to play it anymore and i'm pretty sure every, a lot of other people can understand that uh, maybe i'm just being a bitch about it and that's probably what it is but dynamaxing the dynamax max raid bottles in its own is a neat system it's just the fucking problem is, is Game Freak and Toilet Paper Company treats it like a fucking gimmick, and it runs, it's fucking poorly implemented and runs fucking terrible. It, it's so fucking horrendous. It, it, like, I don't want to play the game specifically because of that. So, but hey, I'm very much glad that it's not as shoehorned in as like the Mega Mechanics or the Z Powers. So you know what? On that regard, I can't complain. But this, however, this is interesting. And the reason why I say this is interesting is because it doesn't use the same poorly fucking inputted system as uh, regular max raids or regular gig gigantic max raids. It uses a completely different system because it's using legendaries. 
it, it's like a a, bo a a boss rush thing, right? You keep rushing rushing through those bosses so you finally get to where you need to go, which is that legendary. I fucking like that. I do. But my concern is knowing Game Freak and their stupid gimmicky bullshit and toilet paper company enforcing a quick dilemma for them to get shit done, it's going to be really half-assed and really shit, and I, I don't fucking feel good about this. But the other thing, though, that I find interesting is that a lot of people have been saying, and even Sarah has been saying, that this is a rental team situation. So I find it interesting that you can't use your own fucking Pokemon, which, okay, I guess you have to add some type of bullshit fuckery, Game Freak. Alright, that's fine. But my concern is that it's going to be so half-assed, and the NPCs are going to be so shit, that I don't even want to catch the Legendaries. As a matter of fact, fuck the Legendaries. I will just transfer them to home, from home, from my previous games. There we go. Case closed. I'm done. Right? But it is an interesting concept, and I'd be definitely willing to try it. First hand, forehand. Like I said, I never bitch about something uh, ninety percent of the time before I try it. I just concern. I'm concerned about some things. Like I said, I played 140 hours of Let's Go, and I can sit here and say I fucking despise those games. They are fucking absolute garbage. Fuck you, Masada. But uh, <clears throat> regardless, <laughs> now that I have the whole com Pokemon community bashing my head over to a fucking wall. Uh, the C C smells like the animations in Dynamax fucking almost take five minutes. I only use one attack once and left to and left to piss. Come back the yeah. It's not even just the animations. It's the fucking turn taking too. The whole fucking thing is so slow and poorly fucking mismanaged. It it's like it like dude, literally. Uh, the other night, like I said with the shiny cuffable, I went to go change. I I went to go change because I was like messed and messed up and shit. And uh, I come back thirty minutes later and I'm still on the same turn. It's so fucking stupid. It's absolutely fucking stupid. I cannot stand it one bit. Boy, this is interesting. I can't wait to see what this holds out. Other trainers to explore these caves. Battling wild dynamax hey. Pokemon as you make your way into the depths. And there's more. After adventuring in the Crown Tundra, you'll have the opportunity to form a dream team with some of the other trainers you've met in the Galar region for some red-hot battles in the new Galarian Star Tournament. Again, how they make this seem like is it's like a story thing, but I fucking doubt it is. I think it's a battle mode. Uh, kind of like the battle tree. But you get to play... Like, I don't have a problem fighting with the other uh, NPC, uh, fighting alongside the other NPCs. I liked it when they did it in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon because it added a little bit of more uh, flair to the whole system, but I don't know, man. My fucking Gen 3 boomer baby fucking whiny bitch assness says I want the Battle Frontier back. I, I want my Frontier back. I, I don't fucking care about anything else when it comes to these battle modes. Just give me my fucking Battle Frontier back. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon... Shut up, you just want to see 3D Pyqueen Lucy. Bet your ass I do. ...sword or Pokemon Shield. And the game's respective expansion passes. I actually kind of... You know what? That's one That's one character I haven't seen fat yet. Depending on who you pretty sure it's been done. Face in battle, you might Pyqueen Lucy? Pretty sure it's been done. I just haven't seen it yet. That you didn't see on your Show clue, where, where is that? You better bring that shit up. We hope you'll enjoy your new adventures in the Crown Tundra. Okay. You'll be able to start So that part is about the Crown Tundra. Right. What have we learned? Nothing! Nothing! Just like the last update and the update before that and the direct and we have learned nothing. I'm so thankful for wasting eleven minutes of my uh, like four minutes of my time learning fucking nothing. I know that sounds super entitled and pissy of me to say that, but it's like like, alright, like, what What do you want, like, this is what I'm spending 30 bucks on. Like, I, I'm, hopefully I'm not the only one who thinks that. This is what I'm spending 30 bucks on. But, I mean, what can I say, what can I say, except I'm not sorry. Exploring part two of the expansion passes, the Crown Tundra, on October 26th. And you bet your ass I'm going to be playing this. I actually have a profile in, I believe, this one. I believe I have a profile in this one. 
um, in this one that I will be transferring over to the actual Switch that's streamable. And uh, I will be checking it out. So hopefully we can get it to work. And I'm wondering if uh, my August profile can actually be usable. We'll see. The point is that I am going to be doing it. But I, I just don't know how I feel about it. What's more, on November 6th, we'll be releasing all in one. Thank you, Base uh, Toilet Paper Company. I do love to spend more money on. <laughs> I do love spending more money on uh, on actual. Phys you know what? Honestly, why am I bitching? I, I bought. I pre ordered the, the double pack when I was working in GameStop, for fuck's sake. Like. And that's how I got. That's how I got this fucking tap. This really cheap fucking tape tapestry, for fuck's sake. So like, uh, you know what? Honestly, I don't have a fucking problem with that. It's just another hundred and twenty dollars down the drain, which I don't want to fucking do, and I'm probably not gonna do it. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll fucking see. I, uh, cause my bitch ass also pre-ordered Mario All Stars and. Well, you know what happened with that. Seasonal said he forgot he's, he forgot he bought it. I, you know what? Honestly, dude, I didn't forget. You know what made me remember it is my constant bitching and whining about Go implementation in home. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, that's what got me to fucking, like, remind myself of that that exists. The Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that include their respective expansion passes. For anyone who hasn't visited the Galar region yet, this will be a great opportunity to come explore. Well, and to celebrate the re Ichihara, I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. If they haven't had a reason to fucking explore, maybe it's because they fucking hate your games. Maybe that's why. Also, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this fucking fate. <laughs> This EG Harbor face is so fucking perfect. I need this. <laughs> I I need to keep this. Oh. Thank you. I did. I scream capped it. You're welcome. <laughs> it's so perfect. Put that shit in the thumbnail. Release uh. Some special Pikachu are on their way to you. Okay, I won't lie, this was actually made me tear up a little bit. I don't know why this made me, like, tear up a little bit when I was waking up watching this, but... Like, seeing Ash Cat Pikachus come back, I don't know. I think it's because, it, like, I really do like the, the, the Ash Cat Pikachus. I really do. And I'm kind of glad they're continuing the theme of adding another generation's worth of Ash Cap. Um, and re-releasing them more and more. My thing is just, like... Can we not re-release the same event every generation? I don't want to have, like, f five different, like, five different, uh, Hoenn Ashcat Pikachus. And I don't have the option of not installing the, putting the code in, but still, like, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea that they, uh, added some new Ashcat Pikachus in. So, I know, I'm talking about the world one. You can get the password for your first special Pikachu starting right now. And there you go, chat. You can have your uh, fucking Ash Cat Pikachus if you didn't get it. Enjoy your ongoing adventures with your new Pikachu friends. Mm-hmm. Next, we have some news about Pokemon Home. Oh uh, yeah, so this is actually what I was talking about. And I actually was like fucking, I was screaming for joy because I was like, FINALLY! FINALLY! I was like, finally! Oh my god! We get something out of this! <laughs> I thought Niantic just bullshit like they always do and said they weren't gonna do it. Oh yeah, guys, we're totally gonna do it. Remember this? <laughs> it's not like I've been bitching about this for all the time. Deep Fry and Content Aware is space. God damn it, dude. I'll have to do that later. I'm not going to do it for the thumbnail, but I'll do it just for the sake of it. For the fuck of it. Why not? You'll be able to open the mystery box in Pokemon Go. Opening the mystery oh, yeah. By the way, we're getting a uh, G-Max Melt Metal, too. And uh, it turns out, like, they're going to also do the Shiny Meltan thing again. So, if you didn't get Shiny Meltan, that's cool. I have a Shiny Mel Metal. So... And it's only this Mel Metal that you get from home. It's definitely not any of the other ones you have. 
And this one's shiny lock too. In the Gala region with this special Mel Metal and unleash its powerful G Max move. And totally not a reused animation asset. <laughs> We're planning to have the link between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home. Alright, let's see. I still haven't gotten Shiny Melton and Go, I, even though I got into the box. Well, that's because a few years ago, a few years back, when Let's Go was still a thing, they had a small, limited event where you could get the Shiny Meltan. Like, I... <coughs> excuse me, I have it. I have a Shiny Meltan and a Shiny Melmetal because of that event. And I had transferred them into Let's Go, and now I have them in Sword and Shield. So, uh... But then again, like, I'm, I'm glad that they're doing this. However, again, like, who fucking cares? I never really liked Meltan or Melmetal anyway. But, uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people love Meltan. I think. But me personally, I don't fucking care. But, you know, I'll do, I'll do it for the shiny, why not? All set up before the end of 2020. And thank you for the vagueness date. Appreciate it. Love you, Ishihara. information about our games that we have for you today. Mm -hmm. I do have one last announcement for you, though. To help commemorate the release of the Crown Tundra, we've made a special music video for you all. This yeah, so we're not watching that fucking... Because people have been getting blocked worldwide for that shit, apparently. So, um, uh, taking the piss aside on it, how do I feel about this? Genuinely, I don't know how I fucking feel. I feel like it's just Game Freak doing doing their shit again, which is fine. Like you're you're allowed to do that. Like, what do you want me to say? Um, you're a fucking multi million, multi billion, almost a multi billion dollar company right now. You can fucking do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm just a consumer. I'm gonna buy your shit probably whether I like it or not because I'm a fucking Pokemon fan. But, uh, I just think the fucking, I think, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I have to, like, look at it when I play it and see, and we'll just see what happens, because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking sure. It's just one of those things that you gotta, like, sit there and assess. Um, but, you know, like I said, let's go is still shit. Sword and Shield is bare fucking, bare bones as fuck. And, uh, Isle of Armor is, like, sapless as fuck. Uh, or lifeless as fuck when it comes to anything other than just hey guys look at all the Pokemon that are back that's kind of just how I feel about all this I uh, fucking I uh, this whole DLC thing right I feel like it's just to quell the fucking people who are bitching about not having their favorite Pokemon in the game prior to these DLC and it's just game toilet paper company and game freak saying shut the fuck up and take these stupid fucking code the stupid fucking code okay because you wanted to constantly bitch and harass our employees here's your fucking shit now shut the fuck up that's just how i feel it is. that's just what it is in my opinion that's why the dlc seems so less lifeless and sapless to me it's just because it's just added it's just giving an excuse to add the bullshit Pokemon that nobody fucking, everyone was seemingly, seemingly bitching about. So, but I mean, hey, you got those motherfuckers to pay 60 bucks, right? But, uh, yeah, no, that's what I think about that. We'll just, I will be playing it, obviously. It's not going to be part of the Pokemon Super Show just yet, because we're still on season one. But, hey, that's, that's that. What, what do you want me to say? So, anyway, 